Yeah, I think, um, you know, we definitely produced some looks and uh, some odd man rushes. And uh, um, I think throughout the season, you're going to have games like that. Um, so I think what we can take away is that, you know, we, we created a lot tonight. And, uh, you know, obviously got to find a, a way to produce and, uh, and get pucks by the goalie. But, um, you know, you got to be happy with what we created. Um, I think I think we were breaking out of our end really well and creating odd man rushes. And then, you know, when you get odd man rushes, you're able to get second and third pucks and opportunities and, and create some zone time off that too. So, um, you know, that was a good part of our game, the breakouts, the entries, and then um, leading into offensive zone play. Patrick, I think that Tarasenko, Berber, and Casper line especially is overdue for, for a score. How do, how do you not – that frustration get to you when game after game nothing goes in? Yeah, it's tough. I mean, um, you know, obviously we have, uh, you know, Larkin and, and Debrinkat and Raymond, you know, producing at a high rate right now. And we need to uh, help those guys out with some secondary scoring. So uh, it's on the rest of us to get it done. Yeah, how just deflating a, is it when you guys are dominating and they come down and score twice like that in 40 seconds or so? How much of a gut punch was it? Uh, yeah, it's difficult. Obviously, changes changes the momentum there for a little bit. But I thought even after that, we still did a good job of keeping our foot on the gas, um, keeping the ice tilted in their direction. So, um, like like Patrick, Patrick said, we had we had our looks, we had a lot of chances, which is a step forward for us. It's been uh, not the easiest for for our team to score early on in the season. So, um, game like that, hopefully, we can build off of. Ben, what do you see going on with the penalty kill? It looked like it had kind of straightened itself out, and then obviously it's been dinged the past two nights again. Yeah, um, it just, it's just details. I mean, obviously the one tonight was sort of a unique play. You don't see too many shots from the wall like that, and then you know a pretty good tip in front of the net. Um, it's just details and being sharp and being aggressive. I think that's when our penalty kill has been the best, is when we're aggressive and taking time and space away and not giving the other team kind of the looks that they want. Um, it's something. It's it's a work in progress still. I mean, we've it was uh, not going well, then we had it straightened out a bit, and the last two games hasn't been great. So, um, something that we have to continue to work on. Patrick, uh, the two power plays, I and mean, you had a lot of zone time, uh, first unit out there the entire time. But it was just a matter of that keeping you to the outside and you know, unable to get on the inside. Was that the main problem? Oh, I don't know. I mean, the first one. Uh well, I had a, I had a wide open chance there in the slot. Um, tried to go five hole. Larkin hit the post. Um, so the first one was pretty good, and then um, I can't really remember what happened. The second one, we had to play through the seam to Raymond. Um, you know, they have a pretty good kill too. They kind of play that uh, uh, the diamond kill with the pressure, and uh, you got to make a couple plays to uh, to create. But um, you know, I thought the zone time and, and looks were fine tonight. Other than the final score, it seems like there's a lot to be happy about dominating the shot clock, dominating zone yeah. time. What's the message after a game like that? Stay with it. I know it sounds like a cliche. Uh, trust what the process looks like. I don't like the fact playing a game like that, we don't get another crack at it until Wednesday. Um, guys will have to sit on it for a little bit. Um, I don't know if I've been in a more <coughs> frustrating hockey game. Um, and I've coached 30 plus years, so. It is, it is what it is. We missed some execution in some areas. Don't like either of the penalties we took in the first. Uh, one ended up in the back of our net. Um, you know, probably credit to them. I mean, we literally could be sitting here with an 8 1 win and we lost 4 0. So we're going to eat it. Uh, we're going to keep getting better. And we'll have an opportunity on Wednesday. And what's your assessment of Billy and his return? Good, good. Yep. The, uh, valuable minutes for him. Um, obviously, I think the pace is a little quicker here than what he's probably seen over the last few weeks, being down in the American Hockey League and obviously a skilled team that gets pucks to the net. So I think it was a pretty good uh, pretty good game for him. Derek, when you are generating so many chances, I know that Casper, uh, Berber, and Cherisenko line has had a ton, but it's not going in. At what point do you weigh maybe having to alter some lines versus, yeah. like you said, just... It could be, you know, there's some of that, you know, you, when you generate that much, 
and it doesn't go in, now you start, I wouldn't say second guessing, but you're like, you know, if this play ended up on this guy's stick, if this guy ended up on this stick, you know, do we get some finish there? But I don't know, that's, it's not one to just throw out, but I, I like the rhythm of our lines. I've liked the rhythm of our lines for four straight now. Unfortunately, we're coming off losing two of them, so you know, we'll, we'll evaluate that here before Wednesday. After not producing a lot of shots in a lot of games and you get a, a night like this, how do you replicate that and keep that going? Yeah, I just, I, I, I do think where the, sh the, um, the shots came from is, again, some of those areas we've tried to improve on. We didn't spend time in our zone. We were clean out of our zone. We had pace through the neutral zone. I mean, this is a phenomenal 1-3-1 one, one team. I don't know if they set up once. Um, so, um, again, I think it was more about those type of areas that hurt us in that shot volume uh, beginning of the year that we have seen some signs of improvement that's allowed us those types of looks and uh, opportunities. So, uh, again, I'd like to hopefully build in that process. Do you think some guys are pressing a little bit? I'm sure there's some, that, some? That, you know, but like this one, maybe when you know, we, you know, we come out of some of these games where we're not scoring five on five, and they have a couple chance. But tonight it was just flat out like put it in the open net. Like I don't know. So, I mean, it was just that's a like, and that's a frustrating one. So maybe maybe a little of that, uh, but. Yeah, just didn't execute and finishing. Did you address the team after the game? Just, I mean. Nope, no, I'd, I'd never do after a, uh, a loss. Yeah, it actually, it's funny you ask because I, I, I almost wanted to just because I wanted them to hang in there and the fact that it's just, it's you know, we're sitting here under 500. Um, doesn't feel good. You know, you, you have to eat it and look at the standings. But our process of late's been pretty darn good, so it's just it's that's the really frustrating part. So, um, but we have plenty of time. Bad luck? No, 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 bad luck. Not over 13 games tonight, for sure, or 14 games tonight was bad luck. But no, no, we 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 just one of those nights, probably a tip of the hat. You know, we we've, we've had a couple of those, but maybe not that drastic. But we've stolen a couple of games too with some of our goaltending and some of our uh, puck luck. So, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it to luck. What do you see with the penalty kill right now? It yeah. seems like it kind of stabilized for a while. It's, it's really frustrating because all three goals were, I'm not going to say go as far as nothing, because as, as you look, the goals are tough to eat because last night both goals were off broken plays. Tonight it's off just uh, head down, pound a puck, we couldn't get the shot lane. They, you know, good play by their middle guy. Kind of got a pick there and just pucked to the net. But there's probably some things, you know, can we get the face off win? We had a chance to get some clear. So it's it's frustrating, but the bottom line is it hasn't executed. And, again, a good first period, and we come out of it one nothing, and it was all two bad penalties, and they put it in the back of the net. So I have to watch the penalty kill a little more. Um, again, when we were struggling on the penalty kill early, there were some clear reasons why, some routes, uh, some lack of execution on some things within our structure. But these last three were very frustrating. But bottom line is they're going in, and we got to stop the bleeding. How much of a gut punch was it when you're dominating that period and they come down and score twice? Or the 40s, 40s. Even after the two nothing, I, I he felt good about it. But then that third goal was was a backbreaker there, and you know we're on a back to back. Uh, all four lines are rolling. You know the power play just came off a two minute shift, um, which they generate a lot. So you know you you need to win a shift there. Eat a, eat 50 seconds uh, from a fourth line there. Unfortunately, end up in the back of our net. So. That was, uh, the whole process was a bit of a gut punch. Um, and even mind our third, we kind of kept pressing again and did some quality things, just one of those nights. What did you see on the second goal? The, there was, it looked like Cider had kind of broken up the play and then maybe all three forwards kind of got Yeah, that's, that's some young players not arriving, uh, unfortunately. Um, 
that was that was on us. It's, it's just unfortunate. We, the old loop and not edging up, which is very frustrating because within our process over the last four or five games when we've been playing well and we've tilted ice or we've tilted play, you know, that's just a habit. And we had a couple of young players there just uh, do the old loop, non-detailed. And unfortunately against a team like that, ends up in the back of your net. Hey, Tyler, in for Joe. Um, you just see a little bit more out of Joe right now? Or what no, it's probably more of just, you know, Motter sitting there. We're playing three and four and a back-to-back -back with travel. Uh, we just we wanted to get the healthy body in. And I didn't like it being Joe, but, you know, he probably became the logical choice with uh, personnel on the special teams. Uh, Derek, just real quick, anything new on Alex Lyon? No, nope, he got in. Uh, uh, he's got looked at today, but I have not heard. Uh, I think that just happened now, so I'll uh, probably find out here in the next forty-eight hours. Still day-to-day. -day. Yeah, day-to-day, -day, but that uh, the, the picture they took of him will get a better. Uh, the image will get a better idea. Thanks. Thanks.